<clears throat> we can go questions. Augustine pitching around the rim, not any better tonight, maybe even worse tonight than it's been. Is there something uh, you can address to why that's happening? Yeah. Um, you know, we spent so much time on it last year and, and as well this year. And last year we were so good at it. And this year, um, it's quite honestly like nothing I've ever seen. So um, we, we spend as much time on it, if not more than we did last year. And I thought last year we got really good at finishing around the rim. Um, and this year, gosh, I, I hoped Carlton getting back would kind of like open some stuff up around there. But um, our ability to kind of finish around the rim is, uh, it's, I, I, I hope it's kind of just some of those nights that are happening to come kind of together. But fundamentally, that's on me as a coach for, for not being able to teach um, them how to, or us, how to, how to finish layups. You guys are whatever top 20, whatever the ranking is, top 20 size-wise. And this is a team that's in the bottom 10 size-wise out of 350 Division One teams. Um, you summed I, I, up half my media timeouts, Jeff. You're exactly right. It's a, a combination of, um, I don't know. Like I said, it, it could be an, I hope it's some kind of weird aberration that's going on here in a few games and we'll be able to work through it. Um, but it inevitably will come down to coaching and teaching as well. And clearly I've got to find some, some new drills and some new things to, 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 finish, to finish layups. Do you have to change anything in terms of scheme though? Is, is man-to-man defense putting your guys out of position for rebounding? Is the full court press, actually the full court press seemed to bother them tonight, although it didn't result in turnovers, but is there anything scheme-wise that you now have to think about changing? Potentially. Um, I, I told the guys that. Um, I, I'm, I've got to probably, um, or we have to look at some things and, and see where maybe we can adjust some things. Got to watch the film, obviously, first, um, and uh, kind of go from there. Paul, I thought um, the press kept them, it, it, it kind of sped up the game so they didn't have as much time to set up their offense, but they, they were really disciplined to not let it get into that up and down and, and still run time off. Yeah, they're great at it. I think they're I think they're 280th or so in tempo, and they're just very good at at deliberately getting into offense, spreading the floor, and kind of attacking one on one. And I thought for parts of the game we were really good at it. I think unfortunately offensively we just couldn't get going in the first half, and we just couldn't seem to get any momentum behind us where we felt good. Uh, and obviously the turnovers just really hurt us and, and gave them a lot of easy kind of breakout opportunities um, at, the, at the other end. And I think, I don't know, I think Jeff had done this stat before of 20 turnovers or whatever. But when you turn over the ball that much against a team of this caliber, it, it, it's, it's not going to turn out well for you very often. And our turnovers, especially our live ball turnovers, um, were killer. Uh, they had... Um, 16 steals, you know, I mean, it, it, you, you, if you if another team has 16 steal opportunities, their, their points per possession in that uh, possession alone is going to be double. Uh, and for us to turn it over that amount of times and just kind of spot them those amount of points, a team of this caliber, it's really hard to overcome unless you're just having a terrific night everywhere else. On that same, along those same lines, they're smaller guys, and so they're they're slapping away at the ball a lot, and a lot of times your guys it just look like they had maybe blinders on. Not, For sure. Not looking. Uh, no, not they can guard. I, I told our team pregame, halftime, whatever, when I first started watching this team, it was their defense that impressed me. I think North Texas has a great ability to guard. Um, they, they, they guard the ball very, very well, and they're small and quick off the ball and do some things off the ball. And quite frankly, it just bothered a lot of our ball handlers. And uh, it was all the way up and down the line. Um, their speed, I think, just really bothered whoever happened to have the ball. Uh, and it unfortunately turned into a turnover fest. So I think if anything right now, we need to definitely look offensively at, at potentially doing some different things um, or just moving some things around just based on where our offense has kind of been going here of late. Uh, it's just not a, doesn't look very good. Yeah. Seven points were from free throws. Um, and he's proven he can be a good shooter. How do you coach him to get him to just get going early? 
Yeah, I think uh, they did a great job of just not letting him loose. And a lot of his buckets were actually, they were just forcing him off the line and forcing him into two-point territory. And, and that's probably the first time anyone's really done that with him this year. And I actually thought he did an okay job of adjusting to that and making some two-point shots that, quite honestly, a lot of times I tell him not to take. Um, so you got to give North Texas credit for really running him and chasing him off the line. Um, and really, at the end of the day, that's where if you can get you know better overall guard play, you know, then you can move him around a little bit and do some stuff. But um, I think right now, until we can kind of get some consistency at the other guard positions, it's just hard to 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 move him around like maybe you'd like if he is not getting a good stretch of shots or or, or getting open. Uh, just two quick roster kind of housekeeping things. Dane, can you update us on what's going on with Dane? And Corey, again, didn't play a whole lot of minutes in the second half. Is there a specific reason for Corey's minutes being limited in the second half? Um, yeah, I think obviously we were trying to um, – they were picking on him defensively, uh, so we were trying to kind of get him out there when we could. We talked about playing zone, but – um, we just with the turnovers, you, you, you we just couldn't set anything up. Unfortunately, everything just seemed to be live ball, live ball, live ball, and it was just a tough matchup for him being out there against those other guys. They were just kind of picking on him so much. Um, as far as Dane goes, the kid just needs some rest. He's got some some again nothing like significant, but um, I just kind of talked with him yesterday and just said maybe we just need to shut it down for a while. I think if you watch the film of our last game, he looks just kind of a shell of himself right now. Uh, his knees are bothering him, and I just felt like it was time for him just to get some rest for a while and see if we can eventually get, get Dane back the Dane we know. You know, I, I don't want him going out there every night playing at less than 100% and not giving us what we really need. I'd rather rest them for a while. And then when we get Dane, you know, we get all of Dane. Have you decided on the end game for Dane? We have not, no. Coach, the, uh, there's some booze at the end of the game, which is natural, but there's some frustration there with the fans. But I'm just curious, is, is this an easy fix? Is there a turnaround for this? Um, I don't know what an, uh, yeah, easy fix, probably not. I don't think anything's really easy. Um, fixes are hard. They take work. They take culture. Um, they take a lot of different things that go into it. Um, I'm trying to work on as many of those as I possibly can. Um, I've tried to coach this team in a lot of different ways, but quite frankly, I just have not been able to emotionally connect with this group yet uh, and and I've got to find a way to do that I've tried a myriad of coaching styles I've tried a myriad of of meetings and personalities and and different things to try and extract from this team everything we can um, and I've just yet to do that I think we've done it in spurts I think we've done it at times but I think you know based on what we saw tonight like I've yet to really wrestle this team into knowing knowing what it's about and that's that's on me um and I'm just going to keep trying every single thing I can do to to pull out of this team whatever we can pull out I I, I don't want to look back on this season and, and think that um whatever it, it was something I didn't try to do or I wasn't open to doing or looking to do I'm just going to keep digging every which way I can those boos, trust me, I, I, I feel the exact same way. Um, and hopefully there's enough time left. We can, we can still turn this and turn those boos into cheers. I know you don't want to change what you guys have been practicing, and I know you don't want to change you know, the foundation of what you guys are, but you're 10 games in. If, if this team is just not a good defensive team, if this team cannot play man-to-man -man defense, sure. At what point do you make the, you know, what point is the, the breaking point for actually playing more zone yeah. and changing what you so far have stuck with? I think that's a great question. Um, I think it's hard when you turn the ball over 21 times for 16 steals um, to look at. I mean, we, there's obviously a, a plethora of areas to look at on our team and to start isolating one as opposed to others. Um, they still had 10 offensive rebounds to our 10 offensive rebounds. So I would look at this game and think, um, based on a team that shot 36% and gets 10 offensive rebounds and a team that shoots 51% and get 10 offensive rebounds, that's a rebounding problem. I mean, I can go down the line of like different parts of what's put us 
two five and five and and clearly not the start anybody would have wanted um but that doesn't mean that that's not going to be on the table and that's for all of us to start to kind of work and, and try and figure out